I decided to finally make a fairy leaf. I had been wanting to for quite a while. Um, and I'd just been so busy with Christmas orders and stuff that I hadn't got a chance to do it. So I got this started a while back. Every so often I would add to it. And I thought, you know, I'm going to make a video because life had turned out really nice and I'd like to share what I've done. So um, I'll fill you in on what I have and have done so far. Um, I have a, a vine wreath, like the grapevine wreath, I guess they're called. It's 18 inches. And I got that at Joann's. And I bought this garland. I don't know if you can see it here. Here's one end and here's the other end. And it's the white flowers. And I just wrapped it around the wreath because I like the way that these just kind of hang. So I wrapped it around and I used some floral wire. Um, oh, my glasses are on the counter. Sweet. 26 gauge. Um, just to hold it in, I'm going to have to attach some here because it's kind of making it off balance looking because it's poking out right here. And um, I, I got some uh, I don't even know what that says. Uh, decorative Excellers Lola. I don't know. There it is. <laughs> I don't know exactly. Brown Excelsior. That's what it's called. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But um, I thought this would look nice. And you could see that I, I added some in here. And I just hot glued it in there. And I also got, and I got that from Michael's. And I got this um, sheet moss, which is wonderful for crafts. You could tear it, cut it, and I just hot glued it um, in some areas, which I'm not even done. I, you know, I still have more to go there, but you could see where I hot glued it in there. And at Michael's, you know how they have the strands of just little jewelry and stuff? I really, this caught my eye. It just has that really pretty look, you know, all the colors. Just, I don't know, it gives me, to me, it's a mystical look I love the color so I thought hey I'm gonna try hanging a few in there unfortunately these two these two are the same and this is what I really wanted and they only had two left so I went crazy and I got me uh, these strands here as you can see this one here and I just um, I actually wired it in and then hot glued it this one kept coming off to the side so I attached it down here also. This one I'm just leaving. Because so I, I love the gems hanging. I'm going to be making a, a gypsy wreath soon where they're just gems and all kinds of groovy stuff hanging. I just love that style. So, um, and then I attached some butterflies right here and right here. Um, got those at Michael's. And these ones I actually got I think at the dollar store. I was like, dang it, do you have these at the dollar store? And Michael's, you know, charge you quite a bit for them. Probably, I don't know, $3.99, $4.99. So, anyway, and um, I take, they come with clips, and I take the clip off. Um, I just don't like that. This one, I think, no, I took the clip off that one too. Um, this one came with little thin wires so I, I put them in there attached it so it's kind of elevated so that looks nice this one didn't come with the wires it came with a clip and I took the clip off um, I also bought these I'll oh, see here's an example the clips these are great you know to use if you could hide it in something that it'll work perfect but for what I was doing I took them off um, I bought these they're just these what do they call them I always call them gems um, and you can just glue them on stuff, you know, little decorative things. And I thought, well, I'll try these. And I envisioned them looking way better, but 
you know, I have three and I have one here, one here, and one in there. And I'm going to keep using them. Well, we'll see. Because I like the way, you know, the shimmer looks. I'm just not sure. I don't know. But I'm going to use those. Probably. And I got this, but it's gold. So I don't know if I'll use these. These were Christmas. Um, I just cut it off of here. These were Christmas clearance stuff at Michael's. You know, I don't know. Let's see. So for this area... Um, I just grabbed some ribbon I had, old ribbon, just made a very simple bow by hand. I know it doesn't look that great, but I think it'll work. I'm going to use it to hide the two ends of the garland that I put around. Um, just to give you an idea, I'll temporarily put it in there just to kind of work around it. I wasn't going to use a bow, but I'm like, well, it's a wreath, even though it's a fairy wreath, um, and I want to hide those ends without packing all kinds of more moss right there when I can use the moss elsewhere. So this is what it's going to look like. And I had an idea. I don't know how it's going to work yet because I haven't tried it, but it's in my mind. Got these. I'm going to just pull them out, and I was thinking about connecting them in here, in various areas, just popping out of that ribbon. So, we'll see how that looks. I don't know. I think it kind of looks nice. Kind of I actually don't have any fairy right now, but I do have a little fairy house. Um, so cute. going to have to make holes. In it, I believe. Got this at Michael's. And I thought I would put it just right here in the center, like that. Um, and I'm going to build up my moss around it. Um, maybe hot glue that there to kind of hide, hide it, you know, the attachment. So I'm going to leave that there. Because that's where it's going to go and that's how I'm going to want it. Um, and I have some other things that I want to put in here. I found some of this stuff. Called, I got this at my uh, Michael's. Um, oh, you know, and I found this. This matches this, you know, it's the same kind of pretty look. So, I don't know. I'm going to see if I can incorporate this in there. Not sure if it can be done. Um, I am disappointed though because I went on Amazon and I ordered some fairy lights. And when I went on, I was going to buy uh, the clear ones because that, of course, you know, looks best. But then in the picture, I saw where they had these, they showed the lights lit up. And, oh my God, it had this kind of look to it, shimmery look. I'm like, oh, that's perfect. That's the exact color I want. And it came in a pack of, I think, six. So I hurry up. I got it out. I'm like, yeah, and I turned it on. Oh, look at that. They're like Christmas lights. So, you know, I'm super disappointed. <laughs> But, I am going to give it a try. I am going to give it a try. You know, I'm going to get it in here and um, once it's all done, kind of put it around. Um, I don't know if I'll put it around the whole thing or not, but I'm just really disappointed because I was going for this look. But my main, my main purpose was to buy the Claire ones, which I thought these were different. So, anyway... I got you all caught up on what I got going on here, and 90% um, of the time, I don't have, unless it's a custom order, that's different. If it's a custom order, I got it all planned out, got everything situated that I need, I know what I'm going to do, um, but when I'm doing, just bringing it, you know, just doing a, a wreath that's not a custom order, 
I have my ideas in my head, but I don't have, you know, a list and, and everything exactly how I want it. So I just kind of grab stuff, put it all here, and just go from there. And that's kind of what I'm going to do right now because I don't really know. So if you'd like to stick around and see how this turns out, that'd be awesome. of adjusting. And I want to get this attached here because it's just belly out too much. I hope you can hear me. I know a lot of times I talk kind of low and um, someone had mentioned that um, she can't hear me very well because I'm talking too low. So I'm trying, I'm going to try to uh, talk a little louder for you. You can hear me better. Okay, I'm just gonna tighten this. I'm just leaving all these ends back here right now. I, I haven't gone back there to cut any. I just once I'm done, I'll go back there and cut everything. A little bit more attached. So just want to get an idea of the size of moss I need and I'm going to put it aside because this is not attached yet. And I think that looks really good. In fact, I don't need to bring this over. I could just keep it like this. You can see the gems here. piece the right back. I think it looks really good. Really good. like a bundle of three I think and I just pulled them apart I just thought they were cute uh, I think I clipped them down maybe like that and just pop them in there I have three so far I have a couple more I can show you but I'm going to get going on some more moss my Christmas um, tablecloth's going to be gross with all this this is so easy to work with. So I just want to cover, you know, the vines and then the floral wire. And I like the, the moss patchy because I don't I want to hide um, the vine, you know, the wreath itself completely. I want to be able to, you know, know you've got some stuff back there. I still haven't gotten me a new glue gun, so you're going to have to hear the squeak squeak. <laughs> I just fill up this back part with hot glue, find the place where I want it, and press it in there gently. On my Facebook page, that creepy holiday stuff, I did a sneak peek of this and I just kind of videoed around a little bit. 
And I told them, I said, oh, you know, you'll be the first to see that soon as it's done. But that was in before I decided to make a video. <laughs> so they're not going to be the first to see it. I haven't even announced on my page that I started a YouTube channel. I think I was worried maybe that people wouldn't watch it. I don't know. I gotta do that though, because if I figured that if you know they enjoy seeing my page and the stuff that I make and put on there, um, some might be interested on in learning how to make some of the stuff I make on their own, possibly. So I have to do that, and I have quite a few videos. That I have to upload of other wreaths that I've made. I just haven't had time with all the holidays to do that. Um, so this patch, there's a patch right here. You can't really see it, but it's a little bit empty. And I kind of don't want to waste the moss on that because it's like under it. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of this Excel Azure, whatever it's called, on there. And I just kind of pull it out. I don't want any straight cuts on it, you know, so I just pull it and then I just kind of scrunch it together. Unless I'm wanting it to hang, then I'll pull some out, but if I'm wanting it to cover an area, I'm going to do it like that. And then I just do small areas. Oh. Bring it gonna dry before I get too on there. Oh, I forgot to put my cardboard down for my glue. Um, one thing I like about this is that. It's so stringy that it kind of all attaches to each other. You don't really got to worry about it. Once you push it on there, it just connects nicely. I haven't really had any trouble here. However, I haven't really moved it either, so. So that, that kind of fills in that little empty spot without wasting the moss. I'm going to do a little Put more glue right there. Um, let, me, let me tear a piece of paper. Because, uh, this comes off easy from the table, but I just don't want to sit here and have to pick it all off. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to add some of this here. I think that might be pretty. So, um, I'm going to try to do it today. I have another wreath I was going to make. Um, and being that Christmas is just around the corner, I thought, well... I want to make one that's not totally Christmassy, but can be used for Christmas, you know, if wanted. And I have beautiful um, brown ribbon. I have some animal print ribbon. Uh, I have beautiful chocolate, um, chocolate brown ornaments. Oh, no all sticky everywhere um so i have in my mind this really cool wreath the chocolates and um the animal print and uh depending on what all i add on there i mean it could be used for christmas if someone wanted to but I think that uh, it's going to 
favor more towards just an everyday wreath, maybe for a living room or something. All right, so now I'm going to get this. There is some slack. What happened? I, didn't, I guess I didn't pull it all the way through. So there's slack. What the heck? I'll just twist it around this one. this side. Oh, oh there's still a lot. I didn't attach it to the bottom. Okay, hopefully you can still see. Let me shut this door over here. I got a gamer in that room. Okay, and the glue is just dripping. So, bring this back. I hope that I didn't mess up you not being able to see. All right, here is the moss that we put away. Let's see, how did I do this? Maybe like this. Hmm. It looked better when I put it on the first time. Okay, that'll work. Okay, let's do it just like that. And get some glue all in it. All around the edges. Open it up because it does like to fold. Pull it out. And I want to be generous. And I'm also going to put some right along the edge here to help secure it. Because there's a gap. Some of that's not going to be touching anything, but I just want to make sure. This will help um, hold the little house also. It looks good. And you see these little stones, uh, rhinestone things I put in? I like, I, I made it to where like they're kind of pushed back so they're not right up on top. I, I like that better. Just kind of hidden there, you know? Get a little view of it. Okay, and this... I think I'm going to wire that one instead of hot glue. I'm going to have tons of wires on here, but that's okay. I'll fix it in the back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go around it once. to lay just like nice and so that looks good. Yeah. 
helping to cover that edge. Spin it around. Okay. And we will secure right here. That's what I really attach one of the petals. And I'm going to hot glue on the little jewelry to help keep it in place also. It's always kind of like make it all like that's the hard part going through and having to take all these off. Kind of sucks with this stuff here because it wants to pull it out. It's all stuck to me. Okay, very nice. I like that. I'm just going to add a little more right there. Okay, now I'm going to look at it to make sure it's not leaning. Look at that, isn't that cute? I would like it a little more forward. The bows got me a little, I don't know. I know I need something there, but just, I don't know about that bow. Anyway, so if you recall, I wanted to, um, when I first made the bow, I used a white pipe cleaner. And to attach it, I um, put in the uh, floral wire to attach it back here. But I left the pipe cleaners and I didn't want to cut them in case I want to hang some, something off of them. Um, so if you see that, that's why. Now, these, I'm worried because they're, I mean, they're light, but the only way I can think of to attach these is through hot glue. I'm not sure how secure they'll be. Unless I can get it glued down here. I don't, I just don't know. Um, let me see here really quick. Maybe I could pop it through the material. No, it won't go through that material. Let's see. I'm just looking. I'm looking at what I can add. I think because, see, if I stick it right through the vine, let me show you. If I stick it right through back here, it's going to probably get, uh, well, I figured it was going to hang off to the side, but. So I'm seeing a gap here, so I think I'm going to add some, whoa, some of this stuff. Maybe just right on top, and then some on the bottom. Okay, see you later. Drive safe. Lock the door, please. Yeah. Don't forget my present. It's picking up presents that he left at his mom's. Okay, so now I'm going to put some underneath that little hole. I'm going to bunch it up there. Move this leaf so it's ready to go in. I might need a little more than this actually. So 
a good size gap. After Christmas, get my finances a little better. It's Christmas. I gotta get me that glue gun. <laughs> I really so much want um, the cordless one. That would be nice. Okay. So, pull that leaf out. You don't want to push too hard because then it brings the glue up. And you have all kinds of mess. Okay, that looks cute. I save all this stuff, all this stuff that comes off. Can be reused. Of course, not all of it, but some of it can be reused. Okay, so there we go. Now I have, I don't know why, but I'm not really liking that purple. Butterfly, I wish, I mean the pink butterfly, I wish I put the purple instead because of, you know, these colors here. I don't want to overload it with butterflies either, but see the purple would have, I think, been, been better. See, here's the, see how it has a little, little wire, makes it nice. I'm thinking that I should have one over here to help complement this. Let's see if I can <laughs> just shove that right in there. These ones are the wires. I like them to be like 3D, you know. Kind of out there, like a line. You can bend it however you want. It's kind of nice, like that. I don't want it to hide the jewelry either. Take a little piece of this, pop it right in there where I put the glue. And that will actually help hold it in place. Also, the mossel attached to the hot glue with the wire. There we go. <coughs> So I have um, these, which I was going to use on a whole different fairy leaf. I'm not really sure because I kind of held it up and I was like, oh, I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure if that really goes, you know. This stuff going on. <clears throat> oh, man. She probably weren't live, and I could ask you guys' opinions on this. And 
I don't know if pink. I don't know, it might help because greenery is, is really good. Oh wait, we were working on these. <laughs> I totally forgot. That might look kind of pretty too. See how it's just hanging out from these. Yeah, that actually might look pretty. All right, let's go ahead and attach this one. Let me see about where I want to attach this. I don't want it to fall, you know, behind, and I don't want to really hot glue it all kinds because I want it to look hangy and free flowing, kind of, you know. So I think I'm going to attach it right here. I'm just hot gluing the main part about two inches up. I put it in. I'm going to add some more up there too, just not right now. Okay, so this is going to just free hang like that. And I really like the way this looked. See how that looks. I like it. Let's see if I can hot glue it in there. Want to make sure you get it in there good. Let it dry. Kind of adds a nice, a nice look there. I like that. Maybe a little bit lower this time. I want it to be more part of this, not, you know, separated over here, you know, how it's like right there. I don't, I want it to be more like it's part of this uh, plant. So I better stick to the middle area. Should work. I'm gluing like this much. You see how much I'm gluing? Well, <laughs> I want to get a good attachment there. Underneath this stuff. Eek. <laughs> 
That's what sucks is when you get it on there and it doesn't go back to where you want it to go because it's got glue it's sticking to everything. And there we go. Nice. Nice. Okay. Hold them for a second. Make sure they're they're through. I like that. That gives it a really pretty look. Okay. Um, so I'm thinking. This area right here. I'm wanting. I'm going to move this out of the way for the moment. Because I want more of this right here kind of coming down. So let's do that. Give it a good amount like this. You know, there's got to be maybe a spray adhesive or something you could like spray all on the back and it just makes hold it. You know, I have spray adhesive. I just don't know. I haven't used it. I don't know if it would change the color or, you know, I don't know. Put some on here and then I'm going to put some on here. Because we're working with really uneven stuff. I don't know what's going to stick and what's not. So I want to guarantee a nice stick. There we go. Gently, because the glue will come through and it looks stupid. And then put you a bit. There we go. And then you can come back. This was kind of angled like this. Well, just wanting to do that. That works. That works for me. All right. I wish I had more of these. It needs more gems. Maybe we should put some uh, these in. Let's see. I'm to hide one under there. Kind of underneath all of this stuff. We'll make a little opening and I'll put it right in there. Yeah, see, just kind of a little hidden there. Now, if you have this in a room, um, in a room where the light, the window, a certain time of the day, if the sun hits it, it would give it probably some really beautiful shimmers. Definitely. I think it would probably look so awesome because of these little, you know, the rhinestones and these little gems here. Not so much on these big ones. Well, on this part, but these and these especially. Okay, so let's see. Oh, you know what? This is not, well, it's attached, but it's hanging a little bit, but I guess that's okay. All right, let's see. I'm going to put some moss up on top here this area I probably should have dressed a little nicer I'm wearing my clothes that I paint with because I also paint faces cartoons sports and stuff um, if you go to my Facebook page creepy holiday stuff you'll see all the stuff I make 
So I was painting, doing some of my orders that I had, canisters I painted, and I wear my one of my husband's old work shirts that he doesn't wear anymore. And I paint. This one was folded in, and I didn't see that. So I glued it down. leads hidden back there. Okay, I have more to cover. I'm just going to hot glue directly onto this part. First, and a little bit on that. Need some moss there. Let's go through a lot of glue stick when there's moss. Maybe a touch more right in between this area here. Making a little area for it. And I'm going to hot glue around the top of this. A lot of it in there. And just pop it in. Yeah, it definitely took me some time to get rid of all these little webs from the, from the glue. Just to get good lighting so I get it all. Especially because it really sticks to this stuff. Okay, I feel like it's connected pretty good. I'm just going to give it a little... Wow, that went super fast. Well, it is a mini. It's a mini glue ribbon. So. Luckily, it's gold glittery, so you can't really see it. Okay. Um. Alright, I think it's time to hang it up so I can see what we what we got going on. Okay, there it is. There is my fairy slash gnome. I don't know. Um, I don't actually have a fairy in there, so it could be a gnome. Um, but I do have the little fairy house. Or gnome house. Jeez, I don't know. Let's just say it's mystical. Whatever you want it to be. Very fragile. Definitely cannot be uh, outdoors. Indoors, hang it up, leave it alone. <laughs> and put these lights in it, um, which can be removed. Hold on, let me just turn it. There we go. I ordered lights from Amazon, fairy lights. And um, my intention was to get the clear ones and ended up with colorful ones because the lighting on Amazon looked so much different 
when I opened up the package, turned them on, I ended up with Christmassy lights, but they're fairy lights, so I put them in there. There it is.